Okay, this is hunting for purple street lights in Kansas City. Uh, video 177, Exhibit C. That's um, an LED light that I'm zoomed in on. This is also another recording here. Oops, let's try to zoom out here. Okay, that's a recording, and I'm at uh, 100 and oh, darn, 120. Yeah, you can see the numbers. So just after um, one hour and 20 minutes, the map there is where we are here. There are four defective lights they know about here, and I want to look at the LED patterns. So first we're going to just look at these two right here. There's also one over there that we're going to look at, so just zooming in real quick on that one. That's the other one. That's very visible. Okay, so that's what this looks like when we zoom in on it. Notice that there are four panels and all four of them have some kind of level of damage to the phosphor coating already. This got stuck. Oh, this video got stuck. Like the zoom is stuck on this. That sucks, guys. Okay, I'm gonna break this up into two videos, I guess. But there's another purple light over there. This freaking sucks. My car is over. Right there. That's recording us. Over there we have. That sucks. Makes me kind of mad. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here's the pole. Gosh. It looks pretty uniform. Okay. And there's another one that's also visibly purple. Um, I can't really record this area right now to see if there's actually a way to drive through there or not. But there is another, like sunset is on the other side of those trees as well. I'm kind of curious whether there's a way to get through there or not. Looking at this as like a checkpoint kind of... Oh, that's right. I'm not proving. I can't see myself in recording here, but I'm just going to keep going anyway, just so I can get this done. So this one's gotten a lot freaking bluer, guys, since before, I think. There you go. All right, so now, zooming out. We're gonna look at this other one. I think they do this on purpose. I think it's stupid to say I think it, because um, I'm damn sure. 
Not only am I sure about that, I'm not gonna be saying I'm sure but about this next thing, but I think these are for, well, A, for the air, I'm sure about that, pretty much, uh, based upon how they're distributed and how they don't need to be seen from the main roads. But in addition, I think that they're for to drop chemicals on or gas bombs on or something that spreads out as it drops. And then um, for whatever it is, it's probably a weapon of some kind to be blown with the wind. So from right here, the chemicals would blow towards Madison Street and would stop an evacuation. So that's that. Notice that these are kind of bluer though. So you can't just judge by your eyes. You gotta actually zoom in on these and look to see how aged these things are. But they purposely set these up probably for chemicals to be blown with the wind to the east and uh, to stop people from evacuating. And they have other contingencies including road work, roundabouts, etc. all over. And as I said, Olathe itself is almost like a large group of them, and that's in the southwest corner of the metro area. And they still work on the hectometer level, a decameter level, and a kilometer level. Probably for wind. Wind-blown organophosphates or other chemicals. And they just tell us they're a factory defect. Okay, so without filming this person, I'm... I'm gonna walk to my car so I can be seen on my other camera to prove that I did this video. If this is not for the pandemic, because the, they already lied about some things in the pandemic and made it difficult to mine the RNA sequences. Then there's, okay, I'm just gonna try not to film this person, so. Um, let's see. I'm gonna have to go around in a circle here and. They set this up to depopulate, guys. This is just one way they can do it. There are probably a lot of other ways. Like if a nuke doesn't hit here, they have another way to freaking take care of us because they don't need witnesses. And they want to depopulate anyway. This could also disadvantage most people trying to leave if, in case they do get an alert somehow on their phone or something like that when they're not supposed to. Okay, I want to be heard in my other video. So I'm gonna wait until I get in my car before I stop this video. My map again. Uh, without filming this other person. That's my video. We are at one minute, or sorry, one hour, 29 minutes and 11 seconds. All right, and reciprocally, this is how much time I have left in my video. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, I don't know why it doesn't work. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna stop this.